Good day my viewers and welcome to my YouTube channel. In this tutorial we're gonna be working on um building a flying car. Imagine a car that can fly. You could do it use it to make any type of game unity. You can use it to make a flying car game, a car racing game that can fly. And it's gonna be a cool game, it's gonna be a hit game. And I'm just gonna give you this tip on Easter Day and we're gonna be done. We're not gonna take a long while, we're not gonna take up to Okay, I just can't just predict, but well, let's leave the time like this. Okay, so first of all, we're gonna be diving into those. We're gonna be making use of the standard assets and um, the sample sense because you know, actually we don't want to code. We just want to use this a very simple platform. I'm gonna give you. So in this way, I'm gonna be giving you. We're gonna use the standard asset, the pre-made asset by Unity that we're gonna be using to make our game. So first, we're gonna go under the standard assets. No, sorry, the standard assets comes with the sample scene. So we're gonna the sample scene. Another sample scene. We're gonna scenes. Then we'll use the car. Yeah, I know what you're gonna say. I thought we were making a flying car, but let's start with this first. Then after this, this car is a pre-made asset. It has its own code, so we can drive it. Then what we're gonna do is we're gonna unpack, unpack the car completely. Unpack prefab completely. Then under it, we're gonna remove the car controller. Remove component. Okay. Yeah. So we're gonna remove the user controller first because it works with the car controller. Yeah. Then uh, remove component. Okay. Remove component. Remove component. Yeah. So now we're gonna remove all the components. Now next move we're gonna do now the car can move again because we just have the rigid body. Then I'm gonna import the sorry, we're gonna go to the prefabs and bring out the propeller. And fix it here. So it's reset to zero zero zero. If it's not resetting yours, just click this track on here and press reset. So everything is zero zero zero, then it scales in one one one. And actually for this propeller, all we just need here is the blade. The wings so we're gonna go on that is we're gonna unpack this prefab completely too unpack prefab completely yeah then under this unpack prefab completely we're gonna drag these wings under the car we can as well go deleting the aircraft propeller but we're just gonna turn it off for now yep then we're gonna rescale this wings and when i say scale we're gonna look for the skill too this is rotate this is scale yeah this is scale this is um two then we this middle button then we use it to scale it scale it scale it scale it scale it yeah okay let's see how that looks nah there's a little mis misfunction here yeah that's it so we're gonna click the scale to we're gonna click the wings again and we're gonna use the root the positions to kiss two now this position two we're gonna get it to somewhere like here so it's not gonna be touching the tire it's not gonna then I think we'll move it back a little bit control Z yeah we we'll move it back a little bit I think this will be perfect. So well, let's see how that looks. Okay, that's okay with me. If it's not okay with you, do what you like. Yeah. So this is okay with me. Then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna paint the car. Even though it's just a tutorial, at least let's looks a little bit attractive. So we're gonna paint here black. Then we're gonna. I'm black and red is my favorite color. So that one I'm gonna use. You can use whatever you want. So I go with the orange for the blade for the. Propeller wings, yeah, the both of them. So yeah, so that's what I'm gonna be doing now. You can skip past this section of me coloring because it's not that important. But I like to keep my things attractive. Then the body of the car, I'm gonna make it red. Yeah. So this is okay for me. I don't, actually then what we're gonna do this is under this aircraft, the last three prefabs there are the tires of the aircraft. So we're gonna just gonna delete them. Yeah, so now we're gonna be doing something next. This car doesn't have any code under it again. So what we're gonna do is that every code under the aircraft propeller we're gonna copy it. But first of all, we're gonna copy the components of the rigid body under the aircraft propeller. So we'll say copy components, then we'll go back to our car and we'll paste components values. Now we're gonna add components arrow. Just an arrow. So the first one we're gonna be adding today, we're gonna add the airlock arrow controller. Then we add another component. We we'll call this arrow controller surface animation. To add another component, we we'll call this arrow audio. So we're gonna add the audio next. Then we we'll add another component. And what we're gonna add next is the propeller animator but this time we're gonna do it twice 
yeah for the left and the right and the um, propellers then finally we're going to add the user control for like this okay that's all we need for now so next we go, what we're going to be doing next is this we're going to go under those um, aircraft propeller that's why I say we shouldn't delete it yet and now first of all let's copy okay first we're going to copy the aircraft controller script copy components then we'll go under this core you see aircraft then we paste component values yeah next we're gonna go under the airplane audio copy components then we go to the core and we'll paste the components here so now we're gonna go under the airplane propeller animator for the right and left I think I'll work with that right and left so we'll just copy this copy components we'll go under the core paste components values so we'll go copy again you just mainly copying and pasting so copy components we'll go back under the core and we paste components values good now after that then all of these elements we're gonna because we want the propeller to actually turn we go with two here and we click this as three let me expand this so you can see what I'm actually doing. That is blow one, blow two, blow three. Yeah. Then we're also gonna do the same for here. Blow one. We're gonna do blur two. We're gonna do blur three. Yeah. So now we're done the blurring and so do you sure the propellers are gonna turn? So now what's next we have not copied? Um we have everything copied now what we're gonna go and do next is that we're gonna go to the wheels of the car yeah another wheels we have four wheels but our wheels are car wheels not airplane wheels so our wheel collider setting is gonna be gonna give us a big problem like okay let's test this thing now um okay let's try this because this can move the car now because the mass is one let's change it to one thousand one thousand yeah and let's see what's gonna happen the car is just gonna take off without even taking our time to even play anything so it's gonna give us a serious issue okay so we have a big problem somewhere so let's figure it out it's not moving so we go back to our airplane propellers then we don't have the animator that's what we didn't copy so we go back to this car and we click the animator oh I should have just done this one time whereas a pro everybody learns something so you make mistakes so just that's a mistake so we just copy component and we go back to this core and when I go back there we just paste components values okay so I think that's it so let's just play it now and if there's no other further you're just gonna see the car go up in the air without you having to control it and that's not what we want right so let's see okay it doesn't still move so let's go check on our car now what don't we have and the aircraft has it but we don't have it see that this doesn't look complete um first of all let's change this to 60 we can want the drag to be much then go back to this aircraft propeller we have aircraft control surface controller that's one two three four five six seven seven for now then let me count on one two three four five six seven okay then let's try that again okay okay let me change this oh add four is mine the mass is one yep so let's see what happens when we don't okay let's wait you see it just goes up in the air flying we still have control over it but still giving us a big problem it's not what we want right so let's now what we're gonna do next is this we're gonna go 
under this wheels and we see that this settings is not what we need so we go under our prefabs then this jet double click it then it's gonna show you all these settings and we look for the one saying wheel front we click on it then we copy all the values of the wheel collider copy components and we go back to the yeah wheels here then what we're gonna do next is there we're gonna paste it yeah paste components values okay now we're done paste we should try testing this now good so we press play still in the air good so we just make some adjustments 315 and the suspension distance should be um 0 0.2 so let's try that now. Okay, so now we're not on setting. Everything has to do with the setup of this. Oh yeah, we just changed the setting for one tire. So let's go back to this. Control Z, Control Z, Control Z, Control Z, Control Z. Yeah, this is what I want. We just copy the setting, copy components, and we click on all the tires, and we're meant to paste it on all tires. Yeah, now let's try this because the other, only one tire that is correct, so three with a shadow one, and it's still gonna go up. So now let's try it this way. That's all we wanted. Good. Uh, just makes the suspension distance 0.2. And let's see how good that becomes. That's amazing, right? You can get a part of the fly. So if you like this tutorial, be well to subscribe. You can do more with this tutorial. You can use this to make a flying car game. You can use it to make different things. This is a really nice tutorial. The European flies. We got to do what we wanted, and that's pretty much all for this tutorial. So if you actually like this tutorial, I want you to subscribe, like, share. Thank you for watching.